This audio program has been produced by YBM. All rights reserved. Listening test. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in your test book. Part 1. Directions. For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then, find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now, listen to the four statements. A. They're moving some furniture. B. They're entering a meeting room. C. They're sitting at a table. D. They're cleaning the carpet. Statement C, they're sitting at a table, is the best description of the picture, so you should select answer C and mark it on your answer sheet. Now, part one will begin. Number one, look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A, she's closing a door. B, she's washing some plates. C, She's preparing some food. D. She's sweeping a floor. Number 2. Look at the picture marked number 2 in your test book. A. They're taking off their jackets. B. They're walking outside. C. They're going into a building. D. They're packing some luggage. Go on to the next page. Number 3. Look at the picture marked number 3 in your test book. A. They're shaking hands across a counter. B. They're putting stamps on envelopes. C. A man is organizing documents in a folder. D. A woman is writing on a piece of paper. Number 4. Look at the picture marked number 4 in your test book. A. Some ladders have been set up in a workspace. B. Some chairs have been lined up against a wall. C. Some plants have been placed on the ground. D. Some cabinet drawers have been left open. Number 5. Look at the picture marked number 5 in your test book. A. A man is loading some bricks onto a cart. B. A man is cutting the grass alongside a road. C. A man is driving a truck into a parking garage. D. A man is using a shovel to move some dirt. Number 6. Look at the picture marked number 6 in your test book. A. A bridge crosses over a waterway. B. A dock is crowded with tourists. C. Some boats are sailing in the ocean. D. Some ropes are piled on top of a box. Go on to the next page. Part 2. Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Now, let us begin with question number 7. Number 7. 
Will you be paying with cash? A. It is recyclable. B. They paid attention. C. No, with a credit card. Number 8. Why didn't Karen apply for the position? A. She isn't qualified. B. In the supply drawer. C. Sometime last week. Number 9. Is the health care lecture today or tomorrow? A. On the corner of Fifth and State Streets. B. I'll finish it by the end of the day. C. It's today in 15 minutes. Number 10. Which train car needs to be inspected? A. Tickets are $20. B. The one right behind the engine. C. I don't think so. Number 11. Have you found a good doctor yet? A. Here, take my pencil. B. That's what I think too. C. Yes, I saw her last week. Number 12. When are we leaving for the airport? A. I believe so. B. As soon as the bus arrives. C. I did read the report. Number 13. Who's taking the shipment up to the tenants in 3D? A. It starts at 3 30. B. Sure, that's fine with me. C. I'll ask Daniel to do it. Number 14. How can we advertise to different age groups? A. Yes, they are. B. By using social media. C. No, you have to drive there. Number 15. I want to send this package to Texas. A. When does it have to arrive? B. Here's the lunch menu. C. At the beginning. Number 16. Where did you put the instruction manual? A. During our annual fundraiser. B. I left it on your desk. C. He didn't introduce me. Number 17. I hope Mr. Joe likes our updates to the office design. A. A new receptionist. B. How many signs? C. He already approved them. Number 18. When are we going to hear from the architect? A. That sounds great. B. Probably this afternoon. C. An office building on Vine Street. Number 19. Could you remind me to call the cleaning service tomorrow? A. Next to the front office. B. Sorry, I'll be on vacation. C. A broken window. Number 20. Who received the promotion to department director? A. It hasn't been announced. B. Right, a large account. C. OK, a y I'll think about it. Number 21. Are there enough presentation packets or should I get some more? A. We need five more. B. I think that's your jacket. C. 20% off. Number 22. How do I volunteer to help with the company picnic? 
A. I'd like a lemonade, please. B. They played a great game. C. Megumi is organizing that. Number 23. Helen's training the new interns, isn't she? A. No, she works at the branch office now. B. To Granville University. C. We can take the later train. Number 24. Is the maintenance staff going to polish the floors next week? A. They do it once a month. B. I decided not to go after all. C. No, it's not on Main Street. Number 25. Where should I park the delivery truck? A. Do you know where the loading dock is? B. I'd love to go to the park. C. Yes, we do deliver on Sundays. Number 26. Would you like me to call you a taxi? A. About seven kilometers. B. My car is right around the corner. C. Thank you for your visit. Number 27. Didn't Insuk leave the store at five yesterday? A. In the storage room. B. I need to go shopping today. C. No, she stayed late to help a customer. Number 28. You've placed your food order already, haven't you? A. A table for ten, please. B. I'm still waiting for a menu. C. The office supplies haven't arrived. Number 29. What section of the speech do you want to start working on? A. The awards ceremony isn't until the 8th. B. She's changing jobs. C. This microphone doesn't work. Number 30. Should we use the extra money on computers or on chairs? A. Please, have a seat over there. B. On the lower right corner of the screen. C. We've had the same computers for five years. Number 31. Miss Sato can't go to the board meeting today. A. Oh, then I'll take the notes. B. Actually, I'm a vegetarian. C. Conference room B. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two or more people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. Hello, I have a reservation for tonight, but I can't remember my confirmation number. No problem. What's your name? It's Martin Harris. Okay, here it is. You'll be staying with us for three nights. Okay, here's your room key. Is there anything else I can help you with? Yes. Where are the vending machines? I'm a bit hungry. There's a snack machine down this hall to the right. Great. I can stop there on the way to my room. Number 32. Where are the speakers? Number 33. What does the woman ask the man for? Number 34. What will the man most likely do next?
Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. Hamilton Properties, this is the manager's office. How can I help you? Hi, I live in apartment 4C. I need someone to come check my air conditioning unit. Okay, what seems to be the problem? Well, it was working yesterday, but today it won't turn on. It's starting to get hot inside the apartment. I'll send a technician out. What's your phone number so he can call to let you know when he'll be there? It's 555-0124. All right. Someone will call you shortly. Number 35. Who most likely is the man? Number 36. What problem does the woman have? Number 37. What information does the man ask for? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Germaine. We've been producing a lot of sports beverages here at the factory lately, and our supply of bottles will only last another month or so. Can you place an order for another shipment of bottles? Sure, but should I use the same supplier as last time? That depends on whether they can give us a lower price on future orders. Could you negotiate the price with them? Hmm, good idea. I'll call the supplier and see what they say. Number 38. Where do the speakers most likely work? Number 39. According to the woman, what does a decision depend on? Number 40. What does the man say he will do? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Edwin, you've been a tour guide with our company for six months now. How's it going? Great. I really love this job. It's given me a chance to learn about the history of the city. I have a lot more knowledge now about the places we visit. That's good. And I've heard customers say your tours are very interesting. So I was wondering if you'd like to increase your hours. Would you be interested in working a couple of extra shifts each week? Yes, I'd like that a lot. I could work on weekends if you need me. Number 41. What is the man's job? Number 42. What does the man say he likes about the job? Number 43. What does the woman ask the man to do? Go on to the next page. Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Mr. Stern, I have an idea for our newspaper's upcoming edition. A lot of farmers' markets in this region open during the summer months, so I'd like to write a short piece about them. That would work well. Are you planning to interview the vendors who are selling produce? We've received a lot of positive feedback from our readers when we print stories about local business owners. That's a good idea, but I'll need to find a photographer to accompany me this weekend. I don't think Elena has any assignments. Great. I'll speak with her now. Number 44. What will be the topic of the woman's article? Number 45. What does the man ask the woman about? Number 46. What does the man mean when he says... I don't think Elena has any assignments. Number 
Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Anita, congratulations on publishing your book about fundraising for nonprofit organizations. Thanks. I couldn't have done it without the input from everyone here at the Society for Wildlife Preservation. If it's possible, I'd really like you to give a talk on your book to the staff. I think it'd really motivate everyone to think creatively about how we can attract more donors to help our cause. Sure, I can do that. But it'll have to wait until next month because I'm attending that convention on protecting the rainforest. Number 47. Why does the man congratulate the woman? Number 48. What does the man ask the woman to do? Number 49. Where does the woman say she will be going? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Ms. Lombardo, let me introduce you to my coworker, Tom. He'll be helping me with the designs for your remodeling project. We're here today to see the space and listen to your ideas. Thank you both for coming. It's nice to meet you, Tom. Now, I'd like to talk about what's available for flooring first. Sure. There are some great laminate flooring options. They're fairly inexpensive and very durable. Yes, that's right. Tom, why don't you show her the flooring section of the catalog? Number 50. Who most likely are the men? Number 51. What does the woman want to discuss first? Number 52. What will the woman most likely do next? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Amir, can you help me? I'm trying to set up the conference room projector for a workshop I'm giving at 2 o'clock. Sure. What's the problem? Well, I'm having trouble connecting the projector to my laptop. My laptop cable isn't compatible with the projector. Did the company just issue you a new laptop? Yes, last week. Our new work laptops require a different cable. It should be in the box they gave you when they delivered your laptop. You should go look in your office. Thanks so much. I'll do that now. Number 53. What is the woman planning to do at 2 o'clock? Number 54. What problem is the woman having? Number 55. What does the man tell the woman to do? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Satoshi, Louisa from the Gardening Center is here to look at our outdoor seating area. Hi, Louisa. The patio is here on the north side of the cafe, so it doesn't get much direct sunlight. But I'd like to have as many plants as possible to create a comfortable space for our customers to enjoy their coffee. Well, there are quite a few species of potted plants that will thrive in that space with indirect sunlight. You should come by the garden center tomorrow to see them. Would you mind emailing me some photos instead? Some tables are being delivered tomorrow, so I'll need to stay here all day. Number 56. Where is the conversation taking place? Number 57. What does Louisa suggest that the man do? Number 58. What does the man ask Louisa for?
Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Do you know Bob, the new hire? Well, he submitted his first quarterly sales report yesterday. I just finished analyzing it, and it looks like the electronic items, especially laptops, are underperforming in our Region 1 stores. That doesn't sound good. No, but the report concluded that the company should still focus on selling electronics because the profit margin on these items is a lot higher. That makes sense. I think Bob should do a presentation for the sales department about his report. He's never done that before. Uh, I could present the report. No, it's a good experience for a new employee. I'll organize a meeting with the sales department next week. Number 59. What problem does the woman mention? Number 60. Why does the woman say, He's never done that before. Number 61. What does the man say he will do? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation and receipt. Excuse me, I was here in your store yesterday and I need to return this item. Okay, are there any problems with it? Yes, when I got home, I went to put it away and realized that there's a large stain right here. See? I'm sorry about that. Okay, so it looks like you spent $32 on the item. Right and I used my credit card for the purchase. Well, I can certainly refund the amount to your credit card. Would you like me to do that? That sounds good. Number 62. Why does the man want to return an item? Number 63. Look at the graphic. Which item does the man want to return? Number 64. What does the woman offer to do for the man? Go on to the next page. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and map. Joe's Pizza House, what would you like to order? Hi, Joe. It's Vanessa. I'm on Mill Street by the bus stop right now. I'm almost finished delivering the food orders, but this last one doesn't have an address on it. Hmm, no address. Is there a name? Uh, it's Dan Smith. Okay, let me look that up. The Smith order needs to be delivered to the Hazelton Apartment Building, Apartment 12. Oh yes, on Durham Road, directly across from the park. Thanks. Number 65. Who most likely is the woman? Number 66. What problem does the woman mention? Number 67. Look at the graphic. Where will the woman go next? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and departure board. Hi, Mario. I'm calling with some bad news. My flight was supposed to leave for Madrid at 11 o'clock, but it's been delayed. Oh, no. I was expecting you to be here in time to meet with a potential client. You're supposed to be presenting the new fabrics our company is making this year. Well, the delay's less than an hour, so I still might get there in time. Maybe but I'm going to reschedule for tomorrow morning. The potential client is a clothing designer, and we could bring in a lot of money if she agrees to buy our fabrics for use in her spring line. 
Number 68. Look at the graphic. What is the status of the woman's flight? Number 69. What kind of company do the speakers work for? Number 70. What does the man say he is going to do? Part 4. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following broadcast. Welcome to the local morning news. And now for our top story. May 4th Motor Company has announced plans to build a new assembly plant here in Centerville next year. This is very positive news for our city, especially in terms of employment. The company is promising to hire 500 workers and, on top of that, there will be many construction jobs while the factory is being built. James May 4th, president of May 4th Motor Company, stopped by the studio earlier today to talk about the new factory. We are pleased to present that interview now. Number 71. What is the broadcast about? Number 72. What benefit is expected for the city of Centerville? Number 73. What will the listeners hear next? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following telephone message. Good morning, Marco. This is Sue Lin from the warehouse. I'm calling to get your approval to purchase five computer tablets for the inventory managers. Right now, they're writing down customer orders by hand and then inputting them into the computers in their offices. If we give them tablets, they'll be able to finish the orders much more quickly. I'd like to buy the tablets next week. It'd really help improve our efficiency in the warehouse. The budget meeting is on Monday, right? Please let me know what you decide. Thanks. Number 74. Where does the speaker work? Number 75. What does the speaker want to purchase? Number 76. What does the speaker imply when she says, The budget meeting is on Monday, right? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following announcement. Summer's here and it's time for the City of Ocean View's annual music competition. This Saturday evening, come to Fountain Park to listen to local bands play their best songs. With 15 music groups participating, this year's event will be better than ever. And remember, the audience gets to determine the winner. Just download our event application to your smartphone. On that app, you can vote for your favourite performance. Also, we're still in need of people to help out with the food and beverage booths. Volunteers will be allowed to watch the performances from special seats that are right next to the stage. Please contact our volunteer coordinator at 555-0193 to sign up. Number 77. What type of event is the announcement about? Number 78. 
Why are the listeners encouraged to download an application? Number 79. What does the speaker say volunteers will receive? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. As you know, we're planning next year's line of athletic shoes, so I'll start this week's design team meeting with customer feedback. The feedback shows that consumers are unhappy with the current design of our athletic shoes. Specifically, many people think our shoes are uncomfortable and have said their feet hurt after exercising. Management would like to see your ideas for some new designs by the end of the week. To that end, we're going to divide you into small groups to work together to help you meet the deadline. I'll email you the group assignments after the meeting. Number 80. What kind of merchandise does the company produce? Number 81. According to the speaker, what do consumers want? Number 82. What information will be emailed to the listeners? Go on to the next page. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, Pierre. It's Emiko. I wanted to follow up with you about your upcoming travel to Lakewood for the trade show. I'm having trouble finding you accommodations. There are other events in Lakewood that weekend, and every hotel is completely booked. There's usually a place to stay in Springfield. You just have to drive a bit farther the day of the show. Please call me when you can. Also, don't forget that your manager needs to approve your presentation before you leave. Thanks. Number 83. What event is the listener attending soon? Number 84. Why does the speaker say, There's usually a place to stay in Springfield. Number 85. What requires a manager's approval? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following instructions. Thank you everyone for attending today's safety training. This training is required before you start working at the construction site. Before we begin, please put on your orange safety vest and hard hat. Then we'll step outside and I'll show you how to properly operate the construction equipment. After that, you'll have time to practice while I supervise the group. At the end of the day, You'll each receive a certificate that indicates that you're authorized to use our construction equipment. Number 86. Who most likely are the listeners? Number 87. What will the group do outside? Number 88. What will happen at the end of the day? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following announcement. Okay, everyone. I have a few announcements before the patients start arriving here at the medical clinic. First, the new chairs I ordered for the waiting room are coming this morning. Please let me know when the delivery people get here so I can give them specific instructions about where to unload the chairs. Also, Mark is out this week on holiday. Since he's the one responsible for scheduling the follow-up appointments for our patients, I'll need one of you to take over that task while he's away. Who'd be willing to do that? Number 89. 
Where does the speaker work? Number 90. According to the speaker, what will happen this morning? Number 91. Why does the speaker need a volunteer? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, it's Sophia, one of the inspectors at the factory. Since you're the manager, I wanted to let you know about something. At the staff meeting last week, I discussed the new inspection procedures with all the teams. I told everyone that the production teams would have to wait for their machines to be inspected before turning them on each morning. Well, I just arrived to do the inspection, and all the machines are already running. Remember, the purpose of the inspections is to check the machine settings. If the settings aren't correct, a lot of raw materials could be wasted, which is a problem. Please call me back at the factory. Number 92. Where does the speaker work? Number 93. What does the speaker imply when she says, All the machines are already running. Number 94. What is the speaker concerned about? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting and menu. I have some important announcements before we open the restaurant tonight. First, the shipment we were expecting from our seafood distributor won't arrive until next week, so that means no mixed seafood soup. Instead, we'll make a double batch of Thursday's soup and serve that on Friday as well. Please make sure to let our regular customers know. Next, I'd like to introduce our newest server, Dina Sanchez. Dina will do some training this week and start serving customers next week. I posted her training schedule in the staff lounge. Please take a look at it while you're on break today and let me know if you can help out with any of the trainings. Number 95. Look at the graphic. Which soup does the speaker say will be served on two days this week? Number 96. Who is Dina Sanchez? Number 97. What has the speaker placed in the staff lounge? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following telephone message and customer ratings. Hi, Ms. Dubois. It's Paula from the marketing department. I'm getting ready for my business trip next week, and I need to get a new laptop to bring with me. Since you used to work for Vance Electronics, I wanted your advice on their laptops. I'm looking at a website of customer ratings right now. They have a lightweight model, only 1.6 kilograms, that's the one I want, but it's not rated as highly as some of the others. What model do you recommend? Give me a call back, okay? Thanks, Ms. Dubois. Number 98. What will the speaker do next week? Number 99. According to the speaker, why is Ms. Dubois familiar with Vance Electronics? Number 100. Look at the graphic. Which laptop model does the speaker say she wants to buy?
This is the end of the listening test. Turn to part 5 in your test.